Uh, first, uh, thanks everybody for, for, for staying and for your contributions. L allow me to reiterate uh, our appreciation for the excellent content of the presentations today to all of you, the audience, for your contribution to this provocative session, in which I think it's fair to say that we've had a, a privileged view on a new awareness, new ideas, and new solutions from very progressive business leaders. Uh, as noted during the discussion today, most of nature is inherently chaotic and not rigidly predictable. Thus, uncertainty perhaps is business as usual. Um, however, the compounding impacts of climate change and other human pressures are exacerbating uncertainties and extremes that, that many businesses have had to deal with uh, in business as usual. And whether it's due to human-driven climate change, climate weirding or not, global change is part of our reality. And water is perhaps the principal medium in which this change is being expressed with significant risks and impacts across business sectors. Uh, and at least current and perhaps lasting price increases across a multitude of commodities, countering historic trends of declining prices that can be attributed to technological process, gains in productive efficiencies. Perhaps some of those uh, solutions are, are becoming more elusive. Um, but on the other hand, from a business perspective, climate change is simply expressed in global supply and demand imbalances, as one of the speakers noted. Um, within those supply and demand imbalances, we're certainly facing novel conditions. We must produce more with less. But while there are risks, there are also new opportunities. And I think that this was a constant theme uh, of the session today. Entrepreneurs are seeing significant opportunity amidst uncertain climate futures. Uh, some even welcome that risk. We need a crisis. Uh, the, 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 Jens from uh, DEG noted, uh, when with attention to and preparation for potential changes and extremes, crises create opportunity to strengthen the sector, to weed out uh, uh, antiquated technologies, to weed out the, the weak, uh, perhaps a, a form of Darwinian adaptation, again referring back to Thierry's uh, very thoughtful overview presentation. And uh, this op these uh, uh, challenges provide stimulus for novel solutions, such as modernizing and increasing access to distribution networks, to water infrastructure, uh, water re reuse and waste recovery, uh, and using green infrastructure, uh, as the uh, infrastructure panel noted, to enhance efficiency and resilience. Uh, progressive market adaptation can result in win-win solutions for business and society. Certainly pricing externalities and eliminating perverse incentives can lead to investment in climate and water friendly options, more sustainable businesses, and brighter development futures. Uh, but those novel business solutions, as Ulrika noted, must also translate to credibility, corporate trust, brand love, and consumer demand. It must sustain uh, and, and incentivize uh, pr those progressive businesses, those that are taking action now to lead the, the transformation. And there's an urgent short-term need to build those win-win options and to take aggressive action to mitigate the drivers of global change. One of our audience members noted that there is a, I would say, not only the, the moral imperative, but an existential need to mitigate climate change and other pressures that threaten our planet so that our grandchildren and our great grandchildren not only don't hate us, but love us and respect us for those changes that we had the, the courage to take. Uh, we're inspired by the potential as, that lies in humankind, certainly, and that's pr pr uh, pr that has proven very resilient to challenges throughout history. And as quoted by Thierry at the beginning, man never made any material uh, as resilient as the human spirit. Uh, Bernard Williams, I should say, God never made any material as resilient as the human uh, spirit. We should see in the appetite for innovation and opportunity among the business leaders gathered today, the hope for humankind to adapt to challenging climate and water futures. Please accept my thanks for the very important work and crucial leadership that all of you are providing as we face these future challenges. Thank you.